Members of the board, good uh, morning. My name is Ryan Levingood, Lake Alfred City Manager. I've been asked to come before the board to, this morning as representative of the, the city managers in Polk County. I'm the chair of the manager group, and while we can't speak specifically for the cities, I am here as a representative of staff. Um, would just like to thank the Water Management District for their leadership and partnership, as well as Polk County. Um, if we look at this issue, it has been a long time coming. We've been working on it for quite a few years. Um, if you go back to 2006, that was really when the, the wheels started to, to touch the road um, and to get moving on this initiative. Um, where are we almost 10 years later? I think we're in a very good spot. Um, but as we see, going back to the original resolution from Polk County passed back in 2006, a resolution of Polk County, Florida, encouraging the creation of a countywide initiative and mechanism to develop and create a countywide regional water resource plan and a countywide local water cooperative. Um, and really, I think we're here 10 years later, having gone through that process and, and gone through the plans and looked at the, um, the data and the technology and the, the science of it to really get to the point to where we're ready to move forward. Um, some of the early concerns that came on from the city's perspective was, you know, how do we get this to our elected officials? Uh, as an appointed board and within the sunshine, I'm sure you all can appreciate that. It's, uh, it's very difficult. Staff can talk about it all, long, all day long. Um, you know, you could get uh, David and Robert and Brian together and they could agree on something, but at some point it has to be presented to a board and, a, and a, out in the sunshine together to really have those types of conversations and come together and make a decision. And I think that's really been the, the challenge for the cities. As city managers, we can only go so far before we have to come back to our elected bodies. And again, how it's hard enough to get one board or one city to agree, how are you even gonna get 17 different municipalities to come together on an issue as important as this? Um, and that's really why we wanted Polk County to take the lead um, those years ago. And the, the resolution that you have before you here this morning is really reflective of not just Polk County and the Water Management District staff's efforts, but also the cities as well. Um, we really feel that this is an achievable timeline, an achievable goal, and really the milestones and the dates that were put in there actually came as a direct result from the feedback from the city managers of saying, you know, let's move this project to the front burner, this process, let's get the, uh, the regional cooperative installed so that we can get it out of staff hands and really start having the same type of conversation as a region as the water management district is able to have today um, we really have not had that opportunity to this date to have each of the mayors of our cities or whoever was appointed to come together and not just talk about water but have a shared process and uh, and a shared conclusion and i'd be happy to stand for any questions that the uh, the board may have Well, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for reminding me. Uh, Mr. Beltran wants to comment. Thank you. I just, I just wanted to make a, a comment because we've, we've done a lot of hard work, and I want to thank staff for all the hard work they've done. I also want to thank all the cities for participating. And I think the major, the major difference you see in this approach versus the previous approach and why we're able to do it faster is because we have everybody sitting at the table now, and everybody's agreeing, and you just heard that from some of our comments. And so I just want to thank everyone for being here today. I think it's, um, it's a tremendous step in the right direction, and uh, hopefully we'll be moving forward and having success over the next couple of years. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to say something. Ryan, thank you for your presentation. George, thank you for yours. Uh, I can't tell you how proud I am that this many city managers and this many cities are represented here, that we're pulling together and we're going to get this this done. I, I'll be honest with you, when I heard about the resolution and it had this two years, the first thing hit me was two more years, two more years or delay or something. But then when I read it and I studied it and I've talked to some of the city managers and talked to the county manager, he says we're all together and I believe that. So I'm, uh, I accept and I'm, I'm on board 100% work with you. Uh, we, we don't want to lose the 30 million gallon permit that we have. Yes. We already have that in hand. If somebody's got some better ideas or something, praise the Lord, let's find them and do it. But I, I think I'm satisfied that we can move faster now that I understand the agreement than we would have. So uh, I, I think everybody has come to this point 
together, and, and I, I really am proud of Polk County. Uh, I I'm, was a little disappointed at first, thinking we, we could have done it last year or year before. But uh, we, we are where we are, and we're together, and that's what counts, because we're going we're gonna to need to be together if we're going to make it a success in the future. And, uh, and I, I commend you all for all putting your minds and hearts into it and doing this, uh, because Polk County is going to benefit. I happen to have been on the Board of County Commissioners when we were on probation, and I know how difficult it was for everything. And uh, I was proud that I was on there when we got off probation. And we've come a long way since then. And a lot of people in this room are, should receive credit for the long way we've come. So thank you. I'm very proud of, of you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Mr. Bruce. Mr. Chair, I see the resolution and I'm a little, maybe there's some clarification needed, simple clarification. We're a cooperative funding agency. Where is the cooperative funding for the $10 million we're committing to? I'm sorry, Mr. Burke? Okay, so the, the, two years ago I started, by the way, for those of you that haven't been here, I've been here, it'll be six years in August, and shortly after I joined this board I was a proponent and a supporter of creating a water supply for this part of the district which seemed to be the, the the hole in the donut for us so I've been two years ago I started getting involved in a rather complicated agreement with uh, Laura Donaldson who we negotiated for quite some time so I'm somewhat surprised by the simplicity of this two-page agreement though I like simplicity in general um, but at the same time where is their money coming from Where's their $40 million coming from? And why isn't it addressed in this document? We're setting aside $10 million and so forth every year, depending on milestones and so forth. But where's their $10 million? The commitment to funding, essentially that's what you're doing. You're setting the money aside, and the commitment to spending it is not outlined until we draft that cooperative funding agreement, which will be coming in 2017. Okay, the well, I just want to make, be on the record that this board member, I don't know about right. the other board members here, they all speak for themselves, that, that our $10 million or $40 million is all based on you guys coming up with your $40 million. At least that's the way I think we operate here, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's silent in this document. It doesn't say anything about that. And, and Mr. Rube, now we have some firm deadlines. Of when, I understand. When, I'm not, when I'm not questioning be... the deadlines and, and, and the speed. I'm just questioning... There's, this, is, this document is, and again, I am a proponent of simple, well-written documents, but this document does not, it's, it's more a public relations document, it is, if I were to, to say anything, than it is a, a contractual commitment with the board. So I just, you know, when, it, when there's absolutely zero language in here about cooperative funding and the $40 million that they'll have to bring to the table, I want to make it on the record. And I would move to approve this resolution with the caveat that the board also understand that that's, they got to come up with their share. The formula they come back with is a, the approved authority. We have to approve and that has to be, have some funding. Maybe, maybe we could add, with. maybe we could add, I'm sorry, uh, where, uh, whereas it says that this is, that the board is acknowledges that we're a cooperative funding agency and we're, you know, that that's part and parcel to this resolution. Mr. Chairman. Uh, to Mr. Bruce's comment, we we understand this is a partnership. The county has already invested $4.2 million to get us where we are already, and we know that is a small price to pay to move forward. All the players understand there, there's no free ride and there's no free water. As part of this development of this uh, entity, there will be funding formulas and participation by each of the players. And that's what we'll bring, bring back to you that will be part of what you will uh, approve or not approve at the next step. Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. I, I appreciate acknowledging his partnership to acknowledge it's a 50-50 partnership. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Bruce, did, was that a contingent motion or <laughs> did you make a motion? Well, but I was going to second it. But it, my, my I, motion I understand is simply what you that, mean. That, that either we add a whereas clause that we're a cooperative uh, funding agency and that we're 50% partners just to, uh, here's what happens. This discussion's happening here and there's a group of people hear it. But two years from now when we're there and right. some of us won't be on this board, I suspect, 
the do the only thing that people can rely on is this this resolution. What was the message we sent? And the message I think could be enhanced if we just add a whereas clause that we're a cooperative funding agency and we're fifty percent. Simple. We, we certainly and no matter uh, if we all get hit by a bus, this is out there. I agree. We announced this. We and we can add that clause. Yeah. I was going to say, you know, we need to do that. I'm assuming we'll put that into motion as well. And uh, I think everybody in this room understands the, the importance of getting all the stakeholders, you know, to the table and now since we're all at the table and making sure that this is a 50-50 partnership and we stay true to the, uh, the deadlines because we all know how imperative this is and what the repercussions of this um, unfortunate situation. But uh, do I have a, a motion? Mr. Chairman, I'd make a motion we approve the resolution as presented with the additional whereas class as outlined by Mr. Baruf. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Nay. Motion passes. Thank, thank you. Thank you.